Hey guys, um, I was just recording a video, uh, well I was trying to for the Swiss and Pellington, both of which, um, I accidentally got a uh, Golden Viper on, so to make up for it, I'm going to be showing the best Swiss K13, something like that, class loadout, and the best Pellington loadout. To start off, um, I use no optic, but it's really up to you. Um, I really prefer no optic because it has a good um, optic itself. Onto the muzzle, we have the stabilizer 308 to um, increase idle sway control. For the barrel, we have 24.9 target aim. This is incre this increases the damage, fire rate, bullet velocity, and um, the ammo capacity doesn't matter when we have the magazine that I use. The body is the amount of flashlight to increase salvage drop rate. The underbarrel is the bruiser group. This really increases most of the stuff that you need. Next one is the magazine. See. What you're really looking for is a Salvo 9 fast mag. Best mag in the game for snipers. Um, I'm rocking the 8 mag because I don't have this unlocked yet. And I'm pretty close if you look in the top right. Anyways, onto the handle we have Serpent Wrap. This um, increases aim down sight time. And lastly at the stock we have SAS Combat Stock. Which, um... Only decreases hit by accuracy and yeah. Onto the Pellington, we have um well my preference is the actual arms. Let me see if this is the right one. Yep, I've got heaps of kills with it. Yeah, so um either the normal optic or the actual arms 3x. It's really up to you. Um, I would prefer the actual arms 3x. Onto the muzzle, we have the infantry stabilizer. This increases idle sway control. And um, onto the barrel, we have the target team. This increases reload quickness, damage, fire rate, and bullet velocity. Uh, ammo capacity is decreased and max ammo starting. It's just, it just has to do with ammo, so that's all it decreases. Onto the body, we have mounted flashlight for the increased salvage drop rate. Next to the underbarrel, we have the infantry grip, which increases different categories <laughs> of variety. Um, onto the magazine, we have the Sabo 9 ram fast mag, which is really good for snipers, as I said. Um, look, 80% ammo capacity, 80% max starting ammo. It's really just good after all, uh, overall. Onto the handle, we have airborne elastic wrap. This increases a variety of things, but decreases things you really don't need in zombies. Lastly, onto the stock, we have the Raider stock, which, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Alright guys, I just want to show you, um, the Tundra, which is, um, the only sniper I'm gonna use next, um, I'm actually changing my mind, instead of doing, like, a, to get Dark Aether, as you can see, I'm exactly one gun away from Dark Aether, and that's the Tundra. What I'm going to be doing instead of doing like a 360 off the plane wing, I don't really like the machine. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna load into Force Forsaken, I was about to say Forsaken, and um, yeah, I'll do the boss fight and kill the boss with the Tundra, or just get Dark Aether with the Tundra in the boss fight. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the um, it's gonna be it for the video um yeah i'm really struggling to talk it's 12 o'clock and i've just finished the camos it's really a grind 
I've used most of my XP tokens down here. I'm just gonna use two extra or four extra on the tundra. But um, anyways, uh, like and subscribe please, and um, be there for Dark Ether, I guess. See ya.